Hi everyone, welcome. Love me, long time, number seven. Gotta be already. Time flies when you're having fun. We left it, Gary had just made an offer to B for a job and was just about to move in his condo that afternoon and a bit of a party with Angela and B in the evening. Check back and watch it if you missed any bits. Let's get on with the next bit. B said to Gary she wanted to think about uh, the job for 24 hours which is a good idea and they were sat at this restaurant across by the beach and he made the offer 50,000 baht a month clear well minus tax get a car she'd have a car she'd have that five million condo down the road she could bring her child and stay there if, he, if she wanted have an office in there he'd buy equipment get the office set up she would be his PA in Thailand so this is turning out to be another business trip I thought he was coming to get a child or a wife to have children and remember what I said earlier on another video about B she wasn't the prettiest girl she had a very curvy figure nice figure nice body she's charming she just had one of those faces me being a little bit cheeky a little bit rude here it's one of those faces that only a mother could love sort of like a double-decker bus had run over her face twice yeah been a bit rude she wasn't the prettiest girl around but such a wonderful person hmm whereas Angela absolutely stunning but had a Thai boyfriend they finished their uh, refreshments and headed off to move into the new condo taxi driver P had come back with his stuff um, he only had a suitcase and some bits and pieces so didn't really have anything to move out taxi driver P was waiting at the sales office and he wandered back into the site and uh, waved at Angela in the office got his new keys P the taxi driver pulled out his stuff and well they actually pointed the car to go over to buy the new condo now these condos had underground parking with security gates and electric buttons to open that and all that plus there was guest parking most of the two condos at the front were already landscaped at the front but not all the way around so it wasn't totally complete there was only one other person apparently moved into the block and from what Gary said, I believe they were what, five or eight high? And there was, I think it was eight. There was about five blocks, maybe six blocks. Let's say 50 condos, nice round figure. Anyway, P went across in the car. They walked across, Gary and B, got his suitcase out. And Gary said, look, I'm gonna go and settle in, put some stuff in. Uh, they hadn't bought anything from the local shop. He said, I might go over to that shop and just get some bits and pieces. I'm just going to go and try the shower, have a shower and maybe change and just settle myself in. You shoot off and get some food and stuff for tonight, uh, for seven o'clock. Arrange with Angela, get P to run you wherever, get him to pick Angela up, whatever, however you want to do it. Um, and he went, here's 3,000 baht for his salary today. And... Uh, then tonight tell him what he's got to do he's just got to bring you here and, and then potentially later take you home sort that out uh, where was I every time I start the today interruptions so gave money to B and he sends her off said see you later sort it out with Angela and she's like yep yeah, fine heads off so he goes up to his condo he's got all these keys and cards and stuff and he's looking at them thinking, I don't know what does what. And B's just gone across to the sales office. And he shouts, comes from the front door, this is. He comes back away from the front door, shouts to B, B, send Angela, show me keys. And she thumbs up, she understands. So B goes off in the office, he's to the front of the condos. And she talks to, you can see her talking to Angela. 
and then B heads off, Angela walks over. And he's, sorry Angela, he said, I don't know what all these cards and keys are, what's all this for? And Angela says, I'm sorry, I should give you the guided tour of the keys and cards. She said, let's have a walk around. Anyway, she, she walks him around the car park underneath, the, the device to open those doors, the security doors, the keys for that and the cards and remotes and all this. And then to the lift, again, keys, remotes and all the rest. Takes him up to the condo, shows him how to get in, how it's locked. And says, right, I'll go, I'll see you later. So he's in his condo, off she goes. So he's worked out, he's got loads of keys and cards and stuff, but it's all posh. Hope so for 15 million baht. So there he is, he, he's literally got a two suitcases. A furnished condo, but has it got everything? And he starts snooping around and figures out the water system and you know, he's going to have to buy things like kettles and some electrical appliances. There's uh, a false TV on the wall, it's not a real one, one of those plastic ones. So he's going to have to get TVs and things if he's going to stay there a lot. But it's all little things, it's nothing to him, he'll just get B to sort it all. Heads in, master bedroom, dumps his stuff in there, grabs some other clothes, goes in, has a shower. <laughs> what it must be like to walk into a 15 million baht condo with two suitcases. Excellent. Goes in, sorts himself out, has a shower, gets changed, thinks right, has a look around, goes up, down, round the condo. It's two floors, remember, duplex, top of, top of the condos, penthouse. Pool a lot. Luxury. Figures out there is nothing, there's no snacks in there, there's no drink in there, absolutely nothing. He's already sent B off, so what's he going to do? He's sort of on holiday. Is he going to go to the shop and bring all that stuff up? Nah, of course not. He'll go to the shop, but I bet you he pays someone to bring it all up. Sure enough, down he goes, shop, it's like a 7-Eleven mini mart. Buys loads of stuff, booze, snacks, <laughs> he still buys water, soft drinks, a lot, loads of bits and pieces of food, snacks, bread, butter, cheese, all this stuff. Spends about three, four, five thousand baht in there and says to the uh, shopkeeper, oh, deliver up condo. They understand him. They obviously speak quite a lot of the shopkeepers speak a bit of English around Phuket and a guy, son maybe of the woman in the shop, appears, understands, grabs a load of the bags, Gary does grab a couple of bags and the boy, I come back, I come back, Gary walks him round up to the condo, up he goes, takes the stuff, the boy goes off, gets the rest of the stuff, brings it back. Gary throws him, cut the 100 baht tip. So he's got some stuff in the condo. And by this time it's just after lunch. Gary messes around in the condo, maybe as a swim or whatever for the afternoon. Gets his laptop out, does a bit of uh, tinkering on there. And we'll skip all the moving in the condo stuff and things he needs and all that. Eventually you get B to do it all anyway. The afternoon passes, quickly comes around to about 6 o'clock, he goes and changes, showers again. He's got some beers and bits and pieces, he's not a big drinker as I've said before. He's got some drinks there, some different mixers. Gets himself all ready, 7 o'clock comes, intercom goes, he's got a little screen on the wall, you can see who's down there, and it's B and Angela presses the buttons, whatever, up they're coming. Knock on the front door, they come out the lift, it's only his his condo on the top two floors, so they've got a like an entrance hall outside his front door, between the lift and him. Very posh, another camera. So, ring, they knock on the door, ring the bell or whatever. Goes to the door, opens the door, B, looking beautiful. 
in a lovely outfit and Angela dressed in black a dress very short dress very what can we say a sexy dress quite revealing doesn't leave much to the imagination looking stunning Angela's got some flowers for him and I presume it's a box of chocolates or something they've got bags of food B's got loads of bags in they come smiling happy Gary's like wow amazing the girls look great and they start having a few drinks and running around the condo eating food two three hours pass pretty quick all enjoying themselves just chatting about everything Gary's trying to find out about Angela asking some questions but she's quite elusive she's not telling them everything you know what's going through his mind but she's got the Thai boyfriend does he even try at this point and buy her buy the Thai boyfriend off it's going through his mind surely he's got that much money can he buy this pretty woman he doesn't even know her come about 10 o'clock uh, Angela's like really want to be going soon and B's like okay same here Gary says to B are you uh, coming tomorrow morning we'll have another business meeting can you get that girl to cover your shop and B's like yeah we'll do that I'll turn up about 10 come and see you he says I want to go for breakfast in the morning down by my other condo because I like the breakfast can you get P to pick me up at nine o'clock take me to there she said yep I'll arrange that he said right and P's she rings P to pick the girls up Angela says to Gary I'd love to get to know you better and more about you um, and B's not told her about potentially buying more condos clever girl B Angela said I'd love to maybe get to know you a bit better as you're my first customer on the you know the the top penthouse suites maybe we could catch some lunch together that's him asking that's her asking him for a date and he said yeah I'll I'll let you know tomorrow and they all say their goodbyes and off the girls go and he says goodbye and there we go another day hmm what will happen from everything he's told me he had at this point forgotten he was on holiday and was all he kept thinking about was Angela the black dress how beautiful she was and the fact she had a Thai boyfriend he was picturing her as a potential girlfriend wife mother of his children at this point because she was so pretty but he wasn't picturing B as that girlfriend wife surrogate mother just Angela I remember him and B had sort of had a bit of a one night fling next day comes sure enough buzzer P the taxi driver nine o'clock was there Gary comes out goes off breakfast has breakfast B rings him 10 o'clock am I meeting you at the condo or your breakfast and he said go to the condo and she said which condo <laughs> and he's like oh yeah well go to the my old condo let's meet at my old condo can you tell P to take me there okay P speaks a little bit of English but he keeps telling B you tell him so he finishes breakfast P's outside off they go back to the old condo and uh, he says to P just wait B's outside the old condo and Gary's like let's go and have a look at the old condo have you had a thought about my business proposition <sighs> a 
have you had a thought about my business proposition? What do you think to the proposition? 50,000 baht a month, etc. What do you think B's going to say? They go into the condo and uh, it's furnished, it's all nice. 5 million baht, he paid for that, plus bits and pieces he put in there. They sit down and she says, well I've thought about it. She says, we've only known each other 10 days or so. I've got a business that runs, okay doesn't make me huge amounts of money like you're offering. And at this point Gary's thinking, she's going to turn me down. And she says, I haven't got enough money in the bank to take gambles, as in just to give my shop up, get rid of that member of staff, part-time member of staff, and take a gamble on you. Okay, you've given me some money, uh, but that shop's been my livelihood for a while. You've only been in my life 10 days. And he says, you know what? Very well put. He said, very good. She says, what I'd like to do is I'm going to keep the shop. I'm going to employ that girl and her friend to run my shop for me full time. And I'm going to a couple of hours a week go and check up on it. And I'm going to keep it. I'm going to accept your offer, providing you don't mind me keeping the shop and me telling you about my interest on the shop, what I'm going to do. But I'll take you up on the offer. Um, she said, but I want to change something. And he's like, huh, okay, what do you want to change? And she says, I don't want to be your taxi driver or limo driver. And I don't really want a big car to be driving around in. Um, I'd rather have, we have a big car and on occasions we rent out your condos you're gonna buy we can use it to take potential clients there and I'll just employ P to drive it. And he says, ah, very good. She says, but I, I would like a car. I haven't um, got a car. So I'd like you to buy two cars, a small car for me and a big limo for you. And we'll park it up downstairs under this condo and I'll use it when needed. But I want a small car, it's going to cost you about six, seven hundred thousand baht. And he's like, fair play. Right, we're going to leave it there because my builder's back. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.